All right, so here we are yet again, and we're under the knife. My CV axle is messed up. Um, there's a bunch of be grease being thrown around on the wheel, and it's been happening since, I want to say, around 15,000 miles. What I'm going to do today, actually have a brand new upgraded CV axle on order. I've got the nut, and I've got a CV axle. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this one in. This is the upgraded one from the tremor package so it's a thicker boy and what we're going to do is just replace it that simple all right so obviously what we're going to do first is remove the wheel and of course the alignment's off you can see it's definitely got toe in um, or toe out i don't know toes definitely messed up and I need to fix that like ASAP. These rags right here are freaking lifesaver. Like, let me tell you, these things, grease, oil, anything, anything you put to the test with these, it removes it so quick. It's amazing. Okay, so I've been looking for the tools and this is a one and a quarter um, socket and it's a half inch drive. It's a pretty big one. And this is what I found to fit in here and to remove the axle nut. It's, it's a pretty big nut. And luckily my dad has the tools available, but you might have to go buy it um, either at O'Reilly's or wherever you usually go shop for car parts. Um, but I'm gonna do that right now because it's a lot easier to remove it right now that everything's kind of locked in. There we go. Not too bad. Just a little bit of elbow grease. Looks like Amazon delivering some Christmas gifts. I was wondering why it was so hard to remove. They have some thread locker in there. And uh, it's a bit of pain in the ass to take out. So I think that's why it's a one time use type thing because they use a thread locker that's already in the nut. So just a little bit of a heads up. If you don't know what you're doing, get a get a mallet, get a rubber mallet. Don't use one of these. But I've done this before and I don't need to salvage this. This axle is just going to get thrown away. So normally be safe and try not to mess up these threads. But because, because I'm not too worried about it, this is easy enough to do. So what I'm doing is I'm removing the caliper. It's a 15 mil. Pretty easy. I should hang the caliper. Um, now that I've removed the caliper, I'm gonna take off the, the bolts for the shock and I'm gonna pull the knuckle out. I don't know how, but I managed to remove this with my arms. Oh. Oh. There's that. So I somehow managed to remove it with my arms. So now I'll just back it out with the gun, which is crazy to think about considering this gun's supposed to be like top of the line. And over here taking these things off with my arms. That's okay. Sometimes man is stronger than the machine. This is the scary part. Now I gotta get under there and pry the damn thing out. Oh, snap. I probably should have taken that off. There we go. Okay, that took way too long. As you can see, they're built very different. Um, you can see that this one's a lot shorter in terms of the shaft. 
but the boot is a lot bigger. The shaft itself is a lot thicker. That's what she said. <laughs> um, yeah, just the build quality overall with the Trevor one versus just the OEM XLT ones. You can see that there's a pretty massive difference in terms of the build quality. And unfortunately, that's what caused this thing to go. So that's why I'm replacing it. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick voiceover here because I wasn't explaining. Just make sure you reverse the steps. And when you're putting the CV axle back in, both into the hub and the transmission, do it carefully because you don't want to mess up the boot. You don't want to mess up the axle and you want to make sure that you just cover your bases. So that's all I wanted to say in this little voiceover. It's been a mess this entire time, obviously, like grease flinging everywhere. So it's been a freaking nightmare to do and deal with. And the fact that like, because I'm lowered, I can't get any type of warranty, kind of shot myself on the foot with that. But what are you gonna do? You know, it's one of the risks you take with modifying cars. You modify them and you risk not getting warranty. And that's exactly what happened with me, so. Just a little lesson to you all, if you guys want any kind of warranty, don't work on your own car. You're better off just going to the dealership and letting him do everything, so. So now, I'm literally just going to tighten everything back up. Uh, thing actually ratcheted but I guess not basically the things I took off was the axle nut bolt bolt um, I had to remove the bolt for the uh, sway bar end link and then bolt bolt for the caliper hung the caliper on the bungee cord and that was it I mean it's not that much harder than doing like a whole suspension swap um it's actually kind of kind of easier because with the suspension swap there's a whole other slew of things that you have to work on but yeah it's not too bad it's not the worst thing in the world that i've done um it's been what an hour so yeah That is definitely not coming out. All right, one last thing before I get the wheel back on. I had to go through, and I swear, the tub of towels is amazing. These heavy-duty cleaning wipes. Just went through and just cleaned the back of the wheel because it was absolutely caked in grease. So then obviously I cleaned everything else too. I cleaned all the suspension bits, but yeah, everything's all clean. Put the wheel back on, good to go. Axle swap, that's it. Um, I would say if you're gonna be doing something like this, it is more of an advanced job. It took me about an hour or so, but that's because I've done this so many times. I've done these swaps before in other cars. Um, just make sure you pay attention to the small things like me forgetting to remove the sway bar end link. That was kind of stupid of me. I shouldn't have done that. It could have messed something up. Luckily it didn't. Other than that though, CV axle, gone, out of here. It was leaking pretty bad, cleaned it all up. Now, the CV axle could go in the bin. In the bin!